Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam here with your daily vibe video and today I wanted to share with you making six figures online. Now, I was searching earlier on, you know, what topics to kind of uh, write about, you know, to blog about, to make videos and stuff like that and I came across making six figures online. What I typically found is that most people have the goal of making that sort of a coveted 10k per month online so essentially we're talking about 120k per year right making six figures online so i wanted to discuss with you four reasons why it's easier than ever to build a six uh, to create a six figure business online so look if you're watching this video go ahead and say hello give me a thumbs up if any of these points resonate with you at all okay so point number one to making six figures online competition this might like actually seem like a bad thing, but I'm here to tell you that it's not for two particular reasons. Number one, competition isn't as fierce as you think it is. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in point number four. But part two to this is that competition means that there is money, right? Think about it. If there's a lot of people clamoring after a certain thing, it means that there's a lot of money involved. And you don't think, uh, for me personally, like I feel like it's better to have 1% of a gigantic pie than 100% of a tiny, tiny little pie because essentially you're getting a whole hell of a lot of basically nothing. So competition is point number one and it is actually a good thing. Understand the fact that Having the competition isn't actually a bad thing, that it does actually work to your advantage because you know that there's money there to be made and all you really need to do is carve yourself a tiny little uh, piece of that pie out for really to be making your six figures online. So point number two is systematic simplicity. Never before, right, have we been able to create so many systems and be able to do so many things well to the point that at a click of a button, we can create things. I remember when I started this thing online, once upon a time, uh, this was like 10 years ago when I started looking to the online business, right? And I remember having to uh, create, like to, just to create a simple landing page, cost thousands of thousands of dollars. And that's before you were able, even able to test any of the elements on the actual page. But now you can get something like Thrive Leads, which only costs a couple of hundred bucks for the whole year, or something like uh, ClickFunnels, right? Where you could create an entire sales funnel for $97 a month. So these sorts of things make it systematically more simple than it's ever been before to create your six figures online that you so badly want, okay? Um, the other thing I want you to consider as well is how cost effective it is. So when it comes to making six figures online, you, it is a business, right? At the end of the day, and there are ways to earn money online to keep your cost down as low as possible. This is where things like social media have really created a level playing field, if you will. So things like Facebook and Instagram, if you, if you can learn the algorithms and how they actually work and you apply that to what it is you're actually doing, start getting your message out there, you can absolutely start making money sooner rather than later. It is actually easier than it's ever been. I'm not saying it's, it's uh, simpler, sorry, easier. I'm saying what I'm trying to say is that there are so many different ways that you can go about doing this now and in terms of free marketing, uh, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, whatever it is that you choose to do, you can go about doing it with at, uh, reducing your costs, costs down to as, as low as possible. Now with blogging, it does cost a little bit more, but as I wrote in my article that I'll post here for you guys to check out if you want, uh, where I've got the full details, you can actually set up a blog and run it on a month by month basis for basically the cup, the cost of a cup of coffee. Now, if you can't, you can't tell me that that is not cost effectiveness. I mean, to set up a damn coffee shop, you know, you need basically six figures in order to do it. And you're looking at two years down the line before you even break even because you're probably going to borrow the money from a bank to actually set it up. Not to mention the fact you have no freaking clue as to whether people in that area are going to come and want to buy coffee from you in the first place. So cost effectiveness is the next point. The fourth and final point that I want to talk about that I've alluded to all along is making six figures online is it's all about you, right? I talked about competition as the very first point that I brought across, but here's the advantage and the disadvantage. The advantage is that there isn't actually as much competition as you think. Uh, people are, are struggle so badly with staying consistent and staying disciplined, staying focused and getting things actually done, right? That the competition is a lot thinner at the top than it is at the bottom. Understand the fact that when it comes to non-fiction products, so I'm talking about books, 
audio books, um, courses, right, that you buy. Not only people don't just not complete the courses, people don't just not apply what they've learned. They actually don't do shit. Like 80% of people, I'm, I'm being serious here, 80% of people who buy nonfiction materials don't even get past part one, chapter one, module one, course one, whatever the case is, 80% of people don't get past part one. So all you need to do to put yourself in the top 20% is do two modules of whatever it is that you've chosen to invest in. If you want to get into the top 5%, all you need to do is actually complete what it is that you've actually bought. Say for example, you buy a book. If you actually complete that book, you're in the top 5% already. So to put yourself in the top 1% where you can really separate yourself from everybody else, and this is where making six figures online is actually simpler than ever before in terms of competition, is because people don't do shit. So if you want to place yourself in the top 1%, all you need to do, invest in a course, study it, apply what's actually been taught. Applying it is where you really separate yourself from the rest. Now, you might be thinking, dude, there's no freaking way that it could be that simple. It really actually is. It really, really is because so many people are too, they're too busy, they're too tired, or they can't be bothered. You know, they'd rather sit there and watch six and a half hours of TV than sit there and study YouTube algorithms you know, for an hour, that's going to set them up for the rest of their lives. Okay. So again, the four points, just in summary, making six figures online, point number one, competition, right? That actually works in your favor, not against you. Uh, point number two to making six figures online is systematic simplicity. It's never been easier to create anything you want, a blog, a sales funnel, uh, in an email to hundreds of thousands of people, a YouTube channel, whatever the case is, insert whatever comment you want to put here. Point number three is cost effectiveness. Social media has leveled the playing field, right? Which is why there are corporations all over the world that are falling to the fucking ground because they don't know how to compete with social media because the, the average person now has a voice that they can portray, a platform that they can portray their voice on. See, once upon a time, I wasn't able to do this, right? I wouldn't be able to reach out to 20, 30, 40 people. You know, typically I get about 100 to 150 views per video. I wasn't able to do that. I had to sit down with someone and talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, right? Social media has leveled that playing field. It, it's, it's given you a reach that you've never been able to have before. And if you want to pay, if you want to start investing, which I highly suggest you do, you can put in something as simple as a blog that you can run for less than a cup of coffee per month, okay? Point number four is that it's all about you. That's the good news and that's the bad news. You gotta understand that self-mastery is the key to success in just about anything. I'm not sitting here preaching. I fuck up all the time. I quite often claim that I'm one of the biggest fuck-ups there ever is. But what separates me from the average person is that I spend every single day working on personal development, doing personal development, reading books, listening to audio books and podcasts, watching YouTube videos, tra studying training courses. Not because I think I'm better, because I know that I'm worse and I need to get better, right? That's why I work so damn hard. So all you need to do to separate yourself is understand those four things and apply by investing, learning, they're doing those three things you're in the top one percent and it is just a matter of time if you continue to stick with that formula that you're going to be able to that you're going to be making six figures online 2017 for the rest of your life all right so look if you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up so we can kick this all the way to feed so everybody else can get value from this video if you hated it go ahead and give me an angry emoji it's completely up to you i'm subjective either way do me a favor Comment on the video, any questions you have, or inbox me if you want private one-on-one -on -one help. I'm here to help you guys out. Take care, much love, peace out. I'll see you all again tomorrow.